Tasha here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Uh, happy Tuesday, getting so close to Christmas. So I'm at a little different view because I wanted to be back up against the uh, pillows here to have a little support on my back, which feels pretty good. And this evening, I have my sweet Julian. Um, he is my little Levi. To those of you new, hello and welcome. Um, Julian is my first Levi sculpt in my collection. And I cannot believe that I've went this long into my collecting and have never had a Levi. Um, because I am just absolutely blown away by the sculpt and blown away by this little guy who has been spending a tremendous amount of time with me. Let me hold him up so you all can see him. His hair is a little bit of a mess, but I don't care. And I'm actually probably gonna be changing him into this adorable little um, Christmas outfit. This was Asier's last year. Um, it's a red, um, I think it's like a sweater material. Um, but it has like a white collar and it says, oh, what fun in white. And then it has these adorable little jeans. They're like stylish, like skinny jeans for a baby, I guess. So um, since Asiar had gotten his new outfit, which I absolutely adore for Christmas, um, I decided uh, Julian would get to try this on. And I've had Julian in a whole bunch of different <laughs> Uh, Christmas outfits and things so far because I'm enjoying him so much. So I just took his little booties off so he could appreciate those little feet, those curled up little legs. And he's getting a little hungry, so we're going to feed him uh, just a little bit and probably change him while we chat. So grab your coffee, tea, a snack or a meal, y'all know when I talk, I talk. <laughs> so we're just going to get started feeding him. And yeah, I am, oh yeah, you are hungry. I am really, really super enjoying him. I'm of course enjoying my uh, new silicone baby, um, Keaton. Um, that's definitely, I feel like I enjoy the silicone in a, definitely a very different way um, because I, I don't take Keaton like, you know, in the bed with me or I don't really sit at night while I'm watching TV um, the way that I've been doing, like, say, with Julian and the way that I do with, like, and Keiki and a lot of my babies. But, um, but I am loving uh, Keaton, my, my silicone baby. I absolutely, you know, no regrets there. Absolutely adore him and um, enjoy, you know, like making the videos. I got to feed him for you all. I enjoy changing him, taking photos, you know, just all, all sorts of different ways. Um, so for snuggle factor, <laughs> Julian has my heart at the moment. So I'd like to talk about how, how our taste changes in collecting and how quickly it can change. Um, I, for one, um, as many of you that have been here with me for a while, you all know that, you know, kind of since I started, I, I dove in head first and just went very quickly. A lot of babies just kept like flooding in, flooding in. And eventually I started, you know, letting go and rotating. And um, for me, it's definitely been um, a great way to, um, to experience different sculpts, different artists, um, you know, to find, um, my taste in, in what I love. Um, and my taste has changed, um, you know, or I don't know if it's necessarily changed or if I hadn't realized certain things yet that I'm not sure. And that's why I want to, um, talk about it and get your all, you know, feelings on it and, you know, your experiences on the subject. So, and there are definitely certain babies that, you know, that are just gonna 
be here, um, even though I learned quickly that say, you know, saying a forever baby is more of like a taboo thing. Like we really don't, you know, cause it, it happens where you lose a bond or things change. But I, I definitely can say that there's, you know, a few babies that I just, you know, I do know. Um, I do know. I'm sorry, ladies. I'm just looking at a call coming in. Okay. So, and um, some of you might have seen, but this like just happened late last night that I have put the Twinkies up for sale. Um, the Twinkies are uh, my twin A and twin B, uh, Benjamin and Berlin. They're kind of a you know, infamous here at Pixie Mommy's Reborns, although many of you new might not even know who the Twinkies are because I I haven't been bringing them on um, much uh, recently over the past, you know, number of months. Um, you know, I, I guess I just, at the moment, they're in the hope chest, to all of you that know about the hope chest and how I keep my babies, like, preserved, and the ones that I'm not really interacting with or considering selling or ones on layaway. Um, you know, it's, the Twinkies really brought the magic to me. They were the first babies that I was just so wowed by and so amazed by the artists and the art and the realism. And, you know, they still hold that magic. It was a very tough decision to put the Twinkies up for sale for various reasons. And of course, one again, being that you know, they, they kind of hold that magic. Of course, of course, there's a lot of sentimental value. I ha now having seen a lot of babies, you know, come through and even, um, you know, how many of Myra's babies that I've had, like, you know, I can say that the Twinkies are, she nailed it on them. You know, they are amazingly painted babies. And, you know, that all that also was like, oh, I'm letting this go. And, you know, I'm sure many of you collectors know, you know, what, when you get certain babies in and you're looking and you're just like, oh, that there, everything is so on point, <laughs> you know, it just, and it just is with the Twinkies. However, um, you know, I've um, obviously brought a lot of, you know, other babies into my collection. I had to make choices to continue to, you know, downsize a bit because, you know, it, it definitely got too much. And I would like to be able to bring in a baby or two in 2019. Um, and I wouldn't be able to do that unless I made some tough decisions. I'm going to be making a couple more tough decisions. Um, so it's not just them. Um, so when I let a baby go, it, you know, it definitely doesn't, isn't because that baby doesn't meet my standards by any means. Um, because like I said, it's a tough time letting some go, but if you are the type of collector that does kind of, you know, chase that thrill of a new baby and you want to experience, you know, uh, a lot of different sculpts and art, et cetera, et cetera, y you know, unless you're a uh, Rockefeller and have endless space, you're going to have to rotate your collection a bit. Um, you know, it's just, I mean... I I, yes, I, there, I, I am aware. There are people out there, collectors out there that have nurseries or rooms or shelves or whatever space aside and they just continue to add to their collection and they don't let babies go and they have 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 or more reborns and I'm not I'm not joking it's that's people you know with their collections you know so um you know some people have large collections um I have, you know, as much as like, I would love to be like that because I love, you know, bringing all these babies in and some are very hard to let go. I am not equipped to be able to do that. I do not have a room dedicated, space dedicated, or that kind of money to be able to dedicate that much, you know. And I also, 
like I struggle because I like to interact with the babies that I have. I like them to have, you know, um, you know, seasonal clothing. I like to take photos. I, I, I just, I just do. So, you know, you get to a certain number of babies and that becomes just impossible. Um, I would really love to get down even, you know, like just to, you know, like two or three babies, but uh, there's too many babies here that I could just not let go of at this point. But so I feel like when I am, I, when I've gotten the point where even though I'm cringing, I can do it and I can get them listed. I, I just have to say, that's it. I have to let go. And it definitely brings me great joy to see other mommies then get to experience that the babies that you know maybe they've been watching um you know I know um you she's mom uh I don't want to say your name because I I'm, I'm not sure if she wants me to announce yet and if he's gonna be like a surprise on I I don't think she has a YouTube but she has an Instagram so um I don't want to spoil anything but um you, she is her dream baby. And when she saw him on here, she was just like, that was it. And she started looking for the Kiko sculpt and just, you know, couldn't find one that measured up to him and da 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 da. So when she heard that I was really thinking about letting him go, she was like, gosh and that made it so I was like okay I went from yeah I was pretty sure I was gonna let him go to yes I will let him go to you because I you realize okay you know this you know this is meant to be and this mommy is just gonna be so over the moon and you know I can't enjoy them all at once and I don't have the kind of display space that I would need to, you know, have that many. So, you know, what are you going to, why, what am I going to have a hope chest full of them? <laughs> you know, that's silly to me. I mean, maybe people that, whatever, I don't, I don't want to step on any toes, but, um, you know, for me, I wouldn't enjoy knowing that I had all of them just kind of packed up just for the sake of knowing that I owned them. You know, that's just not my, my way of collecting. So, but the whole taste thing. Now, let's take little Julian, for instance. Now, I, well, let's see. The, yeah, duh, the Twinkies are sleep, sleeping sculpts, the twin A and B. Um, and of course I was very bonded to them and, and still am, but as I said, I haven't, you know, spent, uh, time with them in quite some time. Part of it is because there's two of them and I feel like I don't want to do things with one and not the other. I feel like they are just infamously a set <laughs> and that's a, that's a part of it, you know, um, that's why I really, you know, they'll find the right mommy and I would what, you know, really like to see them go together, um, for sure. And, you know, preferably to someone that, you know, at least knows who they are or of them and that will kind of keep that magic alive and enjoy the magic of the Twinkies and the art and Myra's work and all that as well. Um, so we shall see. Uh, it's first come first serve by the way ladies because you know I've had some inquiries coming in and stuff and you know sometimes people will ask and then think about it and then I've had this happen and then they get back to me like the next day or something and they're like yeah I, I want to do it and I'm, I'm so sorry um you know not that every baby I put up for sale goes that fast, but some do, you know, some, some go within 10 minutes, some go within two months. It just, it, it, it all depends. And I'm not the type to just, you know, 
lower my price and lower my price. You know, I, I know that what I, what I'm asking is, is, is fair and I will wait for somebody that, you know, wants them. Anyway, as far as taste, um, ugh, it just, <laughs> it's just amazing. So I got to the point and it was when I had, um, the Josie sculpt, uh, by Connie Burke, um, come in and she was a Myra's Little Bugs baby. And one, another one, she was an AA baby, um, uh, Ashley, hi Ash, has her, uh, now she is Journey over at Baby Love Heartsmith and she is show-stopping phenomenal this baby is painted and rooted like Frankie my Eleanor that I'm another one that I'm struggling with the sculpt but the art uh, the hair just uh, I I don't know that I could let her go I, I, I just you know because and there's not so many AA babies you know out there of Myra's I don't know when the opportunity would be to get another, you know, I'm afraid to let that go. Anyways, um, but she was a, uh, the Josie sculpt was a sleeping sculpt and she was a bit bigger of a baby. So, but at that time I thought, oh, you know, I mean, this baby is so flipping amazing that if I can't like find that connection and bond, even though what I'm looking at is just so incredible, I said, it must be that I just really, really strongly prefer open-eyed babies, which I, for the most part, knew I leaned towards open-eyed babies. But I said to myself, I can't go for sleeping sculpts because I, I, it's just, you know, if I can't bond with this one, then there's not. You know, I thought it was because she was sleeping. Then later I, I realized and I absolutely confirmed when, um, uh, and Keiki came in, and she is the Maya sculpt uh, by Priscilla Lopez, the little, uh, my little preemie baby by Kimberly's Cocoon. Um, you know, once, you know, after I got her, it confirmed my feelings that it wasn't that I could not bond with a sleeping sculpt, but it had to be a certain sculpt that needed to be a smaller baby. I definitely associate a baby, the realism of a baby sleeping when they're like newborn because, you know, my children, you know, have their eyes. I mean, um, Dest it was a destiny. And then it also Gabriel, it was like five days before they even opened their eyes, maybe even more on one of them, like things like, you know, and you can, you can do things like, like with Julian, like I remember with my kids when they were this newborn size or a few weeks old size, like first off, they, they kept their legs curled up when you pick them up like that, that little snowball, I called it really as much as that, like where they were totally tucked up onto their chest when you pick the baby up like this, they were like this. <laughs> um, so that is extremely realistic. And they were sleeping. They're, they're sleeping. So I don't know. I, I'm able to just, you know, identify with that. Whereas a larger sleeping baby, you know, a larger baby, I prefer open eyes and that interactiveness. So I was able to discover that, but it took me quite a bit of trial and error. And then I also started to realize, hey, some of this is just a matter of sculpts because like I'm discussing Frankie Francesca, aka Frank Francesca, which she is the Eleanor sculpt by Laura Tuzio Ross. And she is my AA Myra's Little Bugs baby. And what... I, to those of you that have seen this baby, you know what I'm talking about. I mean, just hands down, flipping amazing. And in person, you know, the, you know, the special, you know, hair that Myra had ordered, the how, the way in, in which she rooted, and the way that she painted this baby. And then the green eyes that she chose that just pop, you know, and those eyelashes. I mean... And the painting, like the veining and the mottling that's under that dark skin, it, it it's just 
beyond amazing. So, but I'm struggling, struggling, struggling. And I know it's the sculpt. It's not the paint, you know, it's not. So that, you know, I'm like, oh my gosh, I just so wish. And part of that was when I let the Josie sculpt go, I kind of already ha had asked my, or I said, you know, I'm letting this baby go. I want to know that I can have your AA painting in my collection. And I knew that Eleanor was the next one up that she was painting AA, you know, so, you know, she doesn't do custom, you know, so it was just like, that was an open eyed AA baby. So I was taken on, of course, when you look at her, so I wasn't, I, the thought never crossed my mind to think about, is that a sculpt that you really, really want? That's a thing, you know, and I didn't think about that or, you know, and I thought, you know, whatever, it just would measure out that, you know, the baby's so amazing, you know, I just didn't, didn't give it much thought. And at that time, I thought, oh, it's just, you know, I'm good if the, it's an open eyed sculpt, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, that I'll be good. And, you know, you realize as you go along that that's not, not always the case. Um, you know, I'm, I, I'm blessed that I can be picky. Um, many of us, you are blessed, but I'm not that blessed. Like I said, I have to let be, I have to make sacrifices that I'm like, <laughs> you know, um, but, um, you know, most of you here know all about, you know, making the sacrifices. Renee, I think you did a whole kind of topic video on that or discuss that topic of, you know, making sacrifices. And, um, you know, again, so now, um, so after in Keiki, then I was like, you know, okay, I can go with a sleeping sculpt and, you know, finally at a certain point I'm like I really need a Levi I need and I had no idea I had no clue when this babe before he came I was like oh wow this sculpt is just perfection um so and he is um he was painted by Pearl at Happiness Nursery in Australia. Um, I did not buy him directly from the artist, but that's who the artist is. And um, he is painted, you know, amazing. And he's got that, you know, that gorgeous um, platinum blonde hair. I mean, you can even see the veining in his head, like right through his hair. Like he is... He's got a lot of red um, tones in him. Look, look at me. Look at how red my cheeks get. You know, he's got a similar skin tone. Now, my hair is usually lighter in the summer, so he'll even more look like me. Um, not that I specifically need to have babies that look like me. It's just cute that he does. Um, Twinkies look like me, too. You know, um, Nicholas. Well, Nicholas was kind of made to look like me, but... Um, that's another thing. I'll bring this up only just because it's funny, I guess. I don't know. It's, should I say funny or I'm, I'm thinking now to myself, should I change him? I know you all can't see down here. Um, I'll start getting him changed. We'll see. Um, so I get this comment. So now it's like, it was like last week. At first, honestly, I was really like, I was kind of offended by the comment. Yeah. Um, and I I know we're kind of going to tr not tread, but dive into a very sensitive area. Ugh. But you all know me and my big mouth, so I hope I'm not offended. Well, look, I didn't make the comment. Um, but, the, but I am choosing to talk about it. Um, and the, after I thought about it for a few days, I'm like, okay, it's a question. So the question was on um, one of my recent videos of um, my uh, new silicone baby. And just for those of you new, let me pull, let me just pull him over so you all can see him. So those of you that are new to my channel and haven't seen him, this is Keaton. This is my 
uh, full body silicone baby boy. Um, he is by Claire Taylor. He's the Andrew number four. <laughs> he is, look at him. Oh, it's an excuse to hold my buddy. It's just my buddy. Oh, just holding him. You're just like, oh my gosh, he is just so amazing. So the the uh the question was on um was on uh I, I, maybe his details video i'm not sure which one but one of, one of his videos there's not too many because he's new um and a few hairs on buddy um the question was um why did you buy a black baby that's quote for quote word on word why did you buy a black baby question mark I was like, okay, what, what a question. Uh, as I said at first, I was kind of offended because it's just, I don't know. But, you know, after I thought about it, I said, okay, it's a legitimate question, I guess. I mean... You know, uh, you know, I obviously um have Caucasian skin, and you know, um, you know, this is a AA baby, and you know, an African American baby, and and you all know my Kimberly's cocoon babies. I say they're African babies just because I know Kimberly's heart is with Africa when she creates them, and they all have the little wooden crosses from Africa. So in general, and I don't think I've ever seen the per the person that commented, I don't even know if they're subscribed, if they were just stopping through or what the story was. So I have no idea if they have, you know, followed any of my other videos that they see because, you know, many of you that know me know that, you know, I lean towards the AA babies, you know, just as a personal preference. So, um, you know, the answer to the question is because I buy what I, what's beautiful to me, what I love. That's, you know, there's not, that's just the same, I would assume, as why we all buy whatever we buy. Um, I don't see the difference in, like, if you're, I mean, yes, if I had a entire collection of Reborns and Silicones that, all looked like me and that's what I was trying to achieve and then I went and bought one that didn't maybe I could see why someone would say well why did you buy a baby with you know uh you know brown eyes and red hair when you know just different from everything else that you have but I don't know um to again to me um it was almost a, like a silly question. Um, and like I said, my answer is just that, you know, I buy, buy what I love. Um, you know, I, um, I never looked at it from a, um, I never looked at it from a race perspective. I just didn't, you know, um, it, it you know, I, I don't, I don't know why someone would, but it's, that's not, you know, that's not how I look at things. So what do you all think of that question? I wonder, I, uh, to my friends, I wonder if, you know, do, do you get that question? Does any of my African American friends get, like, if you have, have a Caucasian baby in your collection, do people ask you why, why did you buy a white baby? <laughs> It just, to me, is like, wow, what a question. But questions are questions. And in the comments, I always encourage everyone to, um, you know, to, to be honest, to ask. It wasn't, you know, nothing mean was said. It was, Like I said, it was just a simply stated question. So after a few days, um... Because at first I took it so, like, I was just going to give, like, some sarcastic answer, like, like, well, because I'm black or just something silly, because to me it was a silly question. But I decided, well, you know, that's not fair because, you know, it, it could, it's just a question. Obviously someone was curious as to why I 
bought, you know, a baby that was a different ethnicity. I, I don't know how to be politically correct, people. I'm sorry. What you're supposed to say. Different color, different race, different ethnicity, whatever you're supposed to say. Because I'm not up on that stuff. I apologize. Um... Uh, people are people. I don't look at, you know, yeah, no, I'm not blind. I see color. I see, but I don't, I don't know. I just, we're all people. And I think that all of our differences, whatever they may be, not, doesn't even have to be, but whatever part of the world we're from, whatever, you know, things, some people have scars, some people have, a, you know, all, like things that make us different. And yes, the tone, the, uh, the color of our skin, the color of our hair, the color of our eyes differs in, you know, so of course it makes us, quote, different. Um, looking, you know, but that's not... I just don't know the politically correct uh, way. I apologize, um, ladies. I hope that I'm, I haven't offended anyone. But I, like I said, I, it was a question kind of worth saying that, hey, I got this question. Have any of you gotten this question? I had to stop and think to myself about other people's collections and what they have in it. And it <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I actually had to stop and think, like, is, am I, you know, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I know, I'm cuckoo Mimi. So, but I'm just curious, again, as to anybody um, else that have, has gotten um, any questions like that. Um, I had to stop and then really think, like, how many... Um, women that I see or people that I see collecting is mostly women here, but, um, you know, that, um, are also Caucasian like me that, you know, have babies in their collection that are, you know, uh, AA or, um, you know, anything else other than that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, a brown haired Brown eyed babies not gonna look like me. Uh, Yushi, who's Asian, doesn't look like me. Like you know, most of, you know, most of my reborn some don't don't look like me. But anyway, um, this little bub does, um, which is, it's cool. It's fun. It's definitely nice to have one. Uh, you know, have babies in your collection that look like you it gives like a level of realism and but you know I mean who for all people know my husband could be African <laughs> you know and that baby could sure look like me then uh, it's you know do you all know you know I wouldn't think this person commenting would know she doesn't know me how do you know you know that the the baby could look like what a question. Um, anyways, I think the video just split. Because <sighs> I see it says it reached its maximum thing. And oh, I'm going to have to stitch it together. Oh, my God. What a project I made for myself. Because um, it just popped up like maximum thing. So that's when it splits it. I'm not even going to get into it. All right. And I've gone on past 30 minutes. So I'm going to let you all go. You can ponder that question. I pondered that question. At first, I kind of took offense to it. But then I realized that, okay, it is just, it's, it's a, just a question. Um, and I was just wondering if anybody has gotten similar, uh, questions, um, and, uh, you know, just again, what you all think of it. And then back to, however, I got off on that tangent of the question, because I guess, what, what how did I even, we were talking about by, you know, how our taste change by what we lie. I forget what brought me up to that point, but anyways, um, I got went on a multi-subject thing here. Um, 
certainly let me know about um, changing tastes, um, you know, and, you know, that is definitely a perk to buying and selling and, you know, um, experiencing different babies. And um, I, have you all gone through phases where you were like totally in love with a baby or a sculpt and then that changed, you know, um, I know some of you are one baby um, people in total forever baby people. And I, of course, want to find and have babies that are are going to be with me forever and maybe at a certain point I will slow down a little more right now I'm enjoying what I'm enjoying and um but again there are definitely babies in my collection that that certainly won't ever go anywhere um it's possible that this little guy might be one of them um certainly at the moment very smitten with him that is for sure um, and, um, I would really, really love to, um, have a chase. Um, uh, so I've heard that the sculpt is a close second to the Levi. At first I was like, I really wanted another Levi. I can't just have one. I, I was like, he's just so amazing. And then I said to myself, you know what? It'd probably be a good idea to, um, have the chase um because everybody keeps saying what a close second and I certainly adore the chase sculpt um so a little twin for this guy um would be perfect and so that could be happening um working on that now so anyway that would be fun to have to boys you know twin boys and I I do prefer boys you know I I definitely you know that that's always been my my preference babies so well just look at him I can't stop looking at him all right I'm already gonna have to stitch this video together I hope I'm able I hope it's not a total waste um <sighs> all right and I'm gonna go get him into his little other Christmas outfit and you can see um, the pictures on uh, my Instagram of him in the outfit that I showed you when I get him into it and that's at pixie mommies underscore reborns that's always in the description below by the way um, and I have a very active Instagram account and I post pictures of all my babies and I have fun with the photography and uh, sharing my babies that's a big part of the hobby for me is the photography all right everyone please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up check and make sure you're subscribed and that you hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video and you get invites to my lives it's getting really really close to christmas i hope all of you have been good santa knows <laughs> all right everyone till next time god bless